Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Yawara Lake against a fellow YouTuber who is pretty distinguished in the Russian community, and his name is Tasselhoff. So let's get it. Let's get it. And this is with a random ally, this is nothing special. But we are going against Tasselhoff, that's the number one concern. In this battle, Tasselhoff will be blue. It's a good thing I'm directly across from Tasselhoff, so that I won't have to deal with him uh, immediately. But, as you guys can see, Tasselhoff already has two shipyards out. My ally just got his shipyard out. And yeah, the, the naval platform is just being constructed, as you can see. Yeah, the sight range just got increased. So, yeah, my allies are slightly below on the deployment time shipyard. Deployment time shipyard will change this battle, as you guys will see. Here we go. Green already has a delta past yellow. Because yellow wasn't didn't succeed in getting the deployment time shipyard, now yellow has lost a little bit of uh, see real estate in that now yellow is forced into a defensive position Green's naval platforms are more out of their base yellow's naval platforms are closer to the base So that's what I mean by defensive positions And yeah Green was able to get a delta on the sea. I mean on the land due to the mistake that my ally made Anyways, let's try to see if we can win, even if this mistake occurred. There's too many deltas and fortresses on that uh, container. It's going to be too hard to attack, so... I'm gonna get some shipyards, and I'll try to go for a mole. A mole just to survive on the land. In case green goes for some Zeus tanks, uh, I do see green has like an X factory for maybe Cerberus and an assault vehicle factory level 3 for Zeus tanks and hammers. I want a mole for anti land. Because I'm going to go for full on navy, I do want to own the navy. This is a very navy based map, so owning the navy is pretty important. Now there's one distinction between my, my allies and, and the enemy. The enemy has a level 3 shipyard, so Poseidons will be entering the battlefield quicker. Now Tasselhoff usually just does like HQ3-7 supply centers out and then rushes uh, heavy navy, which is a good idea. But the thing is, uh, I'm, I, I spent a little bit of resources on going for a hero, so I'm slightly behind Tesselhoff. It's a good thing green isn't investing in the navy. That would be a little bit annoying. So let's go. Let's see what happens. Blue has already outperformed yellow, which is a little annoying. And in the, following, in the following engagements, we are able to push Tasselhoff back little by little, but Tasselhoff's army is, I mean not army, but Tasselhoff's navy, as you guys can see, is too strong. I'm also using Barracudas to help with the firepower, but at this point in time, Solaris, the anti-gravity hover tank is out, so I cannot keep my Barracudas up above water for too long. And the Poseidons, I can't get too close without being engaged by Green's naval platform. There's that issue. Enemy Thors. Enemy Thors basically prohibited me from getting the Leviathan, which I actually was planning on getting. If I waited a minute or two, I wanted to thwart this attack from Tasselhoff first. Tasselhoff is grinding 
my allies shipyards and that's not good I have some ships but it's, it's not good enough I mean I told my ally to upgrade and build a shipyard earlier but I mean that's it, it didn't work out and this is the point in time where I like there's evidence that suggests that deployment time shipyards are so very ex they're so very important they're so so important yellow was forced into a defensive position because of that and yeah it, it just didn't work out the resistance typically shouldn't play defensive positions we have worse defensive buildings and we just have our units just aren't fit for defense Acid Strike, although the Acid Strike only had enough area to uh, deal Acid Corrosion to one Poseidon. A little unfortunate, but at least we're able to push them back by a little bit. The Solaris tank is way too powerful though. It's grinding the armor on this alligator. The alligator got too close. It's destroyed. I have to fall back by a little bit. I'm going to engage the torpedo platform and go back underwater. That Viking's detection radius is pretty far. That's some pretty. Uh, like, I didn't think Vikings would have such far detection radius. It, that's like a solid 9 or 10 cells detection radius. Well, I got the acid ready, strike again, but come on, man, make make some alligators. Come on, come on, bro. Okay, 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 good. I'm going to go for another Leviathan. I mean, not another, but I'm going to go for a Leviathan. And as you guys can see, now green has joined the party. At this time, we are doomed. Also, it does look like yellow's alligators are weaker than, uh, than usual. Yeah, the damage the alligator is doing is so minimal. Solaris being right behind the Poseidons, like, it's, it's annoying. You can't even deal with the Poseidons. There's Vikings in front of the Poseidons, and behind it there's Solaris. So it's, it's almost impossible to deal with these Poseidons, and there's just way too many of them. That beam from the Solaris was pretty useful. Okay, I tried to destroy the Solaris with all my firepower, but it's just too quick. It, it just it, it, it got away. Oh no, 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 launch the nuke, launch the nuke! Launch the nuke before the vertex! Come on, come on, come on! Launch it, launch it! Okay, okay, just get the missile up! Just get the missile up! Ooh! Literally just half a second or more and the missile would have been up. I mean, it's not like the missile would have done anything major, but it would- it definitely would have helped. It would have helped take down another Poseidon or two. Well, 
But we were losing since the start for the Navy side. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'll fast forward, and yeah, you guys can just see the power of the Confederation in 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 the gameplay. I have the molt over here, so we can lay down some molt turrets. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's not going to do anything, but yeah, at least it's beautiful to watch. I'll just put another one. Oh, it looks like Thor's are in too. Can we destroy this Viking with the mole auto cannon? Yes, we can. And <laughs> these, this is like pure war, man. It just looks too chaotic. Way too many Poseidons. Let's try a nuke. It's definitely going to hit that Poseidon head on. Definitely dealt some damage to other nearby Poseidons, but the damage is very minimal. The Poseidons are just too tanky. And this is a good game. Leviathan's going down. And so is my HQ. So Lars is just chilling on the beach side. So yeah, that, that's pretty much a good game.